bright beauty every student matters hello everyone let's start the next topic of our chapter number 1 that is rise of nationalism in europe now before the students we were talking about the period of revolution or revolutions that is between 1830 and 1848 here we are going to start our next topic and the topic name is influence of culture on nationalism now before this we were learning about the spirit of nationalism or the rise of nationalism through territorial expansions or territorial wars right so we were talking about how the spirit of nationalism was rising in europe through wars but here we are going to understand how culture played an important role in the rise of nationalism so this feeling of nationalism was strengthened through art literature music drama and so on now here when we are talking about the term culture it implies a lot of things so under this we can say that art literature music and drama all these were the important components of culture and all these things they played an important role in the rise of nationalism but here when we are talking about the rise of nationalism in europe and also when we are talking about culture we have to understand a term here that is romanticism now this term might be new for you so it was a cultural movement so in simple terms how do we define romanticism it was a cultural movement that started in europe and the main idea was to spread this feeling of nationalism but how was it different from all the other ideas so this was mainly done by the romantics now people who believed in this idea of romanticism they were known as the romantic artists and here we have to understand the main ideas of romantics so one by one let us try to understand this romantics encouraged depiction of emotions feelings and intuition yes now when we are talking about this cultural movement what does that imply so according to this all the romantics or the romantic artists they encouraged or emphasized on emotions intuitions and feelings they believe that the spirit of nationalism could be encouraged or could be introduced in the society through common heritage or common culture now students these terms are not new for you why because we already have learned it in our previous topic right when we were talking about nationalism i told you that nationalism emphasizes on shared collectiveness or belongingness towards a nation and that can be done through different ideas or different things here this shared culture or common heritage is one of these things so these romantic artists they encourage these ideas based on emotions based on intuitions based on feelings right they did not believe in glorification of logic reason and science now two terms are important here we already have learned about the first term that is romantics or romanticism now the second term here is classism or the people who followed this idea of classism who were known as classists okay so likewise when we are talking about romantics on the other side we have the classes people now these classes people they believed on or they believed in reason and logic or in simple terms in the general science so it was very much different from the ideas that were believed by the romantic artist right so therefore 
these romantic artists they never believed in the glorification of logic reasoning or science rather than they wanted that focus should be on feelings then shared culture common heritage or the shared heritage by all the people living at a place and also on intuition okay according to them the basis of nation was was based on common cultural past and shared heritage by all yes students now you can see that they are emphasizing on common cultural past that all the people who are living together should have a common cultural past that can be related to music that can be related to literature that can be related to art drama and so on so here we will understand through examples how these romantic artists they helped in spreading this idea of or this feeling of nationalism through all these important parameters so here you can see the image of a famous german philosopher whose name was johann gottfried herder so you have to rem remember this name here that is johann gottfried herder now he was a famous german philosopher and he had a particular ideology we are talking about the romantic artist and he was one of the famous romantic artists and his name was johann herder or johann gottfried herder so you have to remember the name here but what did he believe he said that true german culture could be discovered among the common people so since he was a german philosopher it means that he belonged to germany so according to him the german culture the true german culture where did it lie so it lied among the common people okay and the term used for the common people the german term here is das wort so yes he believed in this idea okay he proclaimed that through folk songs poetry dance one could strengthen nationalist feelings now here let us take example of our own country now we all are living in our country india right so some people they can be from uttar pradesh some belong to some states like uh, you belong to nagaland and there are people who are belonging to the state assam himachal pradesh haryana and so on right so people belonging to all these different states how can they share a common identity that is only through the common culture right or the common past of all the people living in this common boundary that is our country india right so when we talk about our indian national anthem or when we talk about national song so these are some of the things that unite all the people despite their regional differences right now this is what johann herder was emphasizing god that people can be united by common by sharing this common culture and that can be done through folk songs poetry dance and this nationalist feeling can be encouraged among them through all these parameters here so romantics emphasized on the use of vernacular language now here is a new term for you that is vernacular what do we understand by vernacular now the common language that was spoken by the ordinary people the term here vernacular it means the common language this was the common language that was spoken by the ordinary people so in our country as well in different areas people speak different languages okay so hindi is our official language but apart from that many regional languages are spoken by these people living in different areas right so we call those languages as the vernacular language there okay so this was the idea of johann herder apart from this there were some other people who were also emphasizing or through culture they were spreading the spirit of nationalism we learnt about language here 
we learnt about art here we learnt about folk dance or folk songs right all these things we learnt through this idea of romanticism so here while we are talking about literature so grimm's fairy tales these were the folk tales written by grimm brothers now they wrote very famous novels and it was popular among all the ages right so through literature as well people were united okay they were sharing some common features and that led to the spread of this feeling of nationalism among all the masses so they were active in politics and promoted german spirit through folk tales now here we see that the grim brothers they were active in politics right and the main idea was to promote the german spirit and how did they do that it was by writing the folk tales and the famous folk tale here is grim's fairy tales now how did they influence people or help in spreading this idea of nationalism it was through the folk tales that was written in german language that people could relate to people living in germany could relate to this german language could unite themselves or share some common feature right now this was leading to the spread of nationalism now let us take the example of poland in order to understand how language played an important part in the spread of this feeling of nationalism okay so here students there are few points that you need to remember at the end of 18th century now while we are talking about the 18th century by now you should know the timeline here that the 18th century which we are talking about so the 18th century here is from 1701 till 1800 so this was the period under this 18th century So during this period what happened Poland was not an independent country now why was it not an independent country let us have a look at this map here so here this is the map Poland right so you can see in this map that Poland was partitioned when during this period 1772 to 1795 right and there were three great powers that shared these regions in poland the first one here is russia the second one is prussia and the third one is austria so these powerful regions they occupied poland and thus it was partition among these three powers so here you can see this region let's say this was under the russian power right the russian empire this was the yellow region here and the brownish region here this was under prussia and this region here it was under austria so here through this map we are understanding that poland was partitioned at the end of 18th century they used language and music to keep the national feelings alive now we can say that all these different powers were occupying these region so definitely the nationalist sentiments were lacking among the people but how were they using culture and spreading this feeling of nationalism so it was only through language and music that the nationalist feelings were kept alive among the polish people now polish is the term to denote the people from poland for example right now we learned about folk dances as one of the components of culture right so examples of folk dances that is polonais and mazuruka now these were the folk dances of poland and people they through these folk dances they kept the nationalist sentiments alive among them apart from that operas and music also kept the national spirit alive now here karol kulpinski he was a famous music artist right he sang many operas and people they enjoyed those operas and also through this they came together now here we are seeing 
how culture is playing an important role in keeping the national sentiments alive right also after the russian occupation in poland russian language was imposed everywhere right now in the map i showed you that russia they occupied this region of poland right so when they occupied these regions of poland they emphasized on using russian language and they wanted that polish language should not be used right so this is what the powerful nation does or the powerful empire they do they want to emphasize their culture in these regions right through territorial expansion or through wars so here as well in poland the russian people they wanted to emphasize or they wanted that russian language should be used rather than the polish language apart from this in the year 1831 an armed rebellion was also curbed by the russian military people of poland after that they started using polish language for all religious ceremonies and instructions yes now we see that the polish people they were quite adamant and they wanted to keep their nationalist feelings alive therefore they used this polish language when during while they were visiting the churches the religious ceremonies and apart from that in all the instructions the polish language language was used by the people living in poland despite the russian occupation and this is how they kept the national sentiments alive among them okay so this was one of the examples that shows how culture influenced in spreading the idea of nationalism now we have right now learned that johann gottfried was a romantic artist right who believed that true german culture was to be discovered only among the common people and the term is das wort so the correct answer here is one moving on to our next question that you will find in your section long answer questions so the question here says discuss with examples how culture art and language helped in the rise of nationalism in europe very important question students it can be asked in your exam and also it has been asked in your exam okay so here you have to answer this question based on what we have read right now so here the question is talking about culture art and language how did it help in the rise of nationalism so i have given three pointers here that you are going to mention in your answer sheet so this is a long answer question so you have to answer it very carefully and also you have to be precise and concise in your points so the first point that you can mention is about the ideas of romantics and what were their beliefs so belief that nation should be based on common cultural past and also they focused on emotions intuitions and feelings right we already have learned about it then you can talk about the views of johann gottfried herder and also give the examples of grim brothers here you can talk about the grims folk tales about which we have learned right now right so this shows how literature it played an important role in spreading this idea of nationalism or the spirit of nationalism at last but not the least you should mention with example of poland very important because poland shows how language played an important role in spreading this idea of nationalism despite the russian occupation in poland polish language was language was used for religious ceremonies and other instructions and in churches right so this is how you can compile your answer by mentioning all these important points the next question here again under long answer questions is culture played an important role in creating the idea of nation in europe support the statement with examples now you see the similarity in these questions now different questions have been asked 
but you have to answer the same thing here because here also we are talking about culture now there is a statement and you have to justify the statement giving few examples so again write about the ideas of romantics and what were their beliefs then talk about johan herder and the example of grim brothers and how they played an important role through literature that they were spreading this idea of nationalism at last mention about poland okay so in this question as well if you are asked this question in exam or if this question is being asked in the exam write these important points since it is a long answer question so you have to mention it carefully okay thank you